Let's talk about analgesics. These consist of NSAIDs, acetaminophen or Tylenol, and aspirin. So what does analgesic mean? Well, the prefix an means without, and the Greek meaning of algesia means to feel pain. So the word analgesic means without pain. These medications help to relieve pain. Let's look at a chart of how each analgesic works. NSAIDs like ibuprofen or Advil work as an analgesic to decrease pain, an anti-inflammatory, and an antipyretic, which prevents or reduces fevers. NSAIDs do not have antiplatelet effects. Next is aspirin. Aspirin exerts all these things, an analgesic effect, an anti-inflammatory effect, an antipyretic effect, and they are known for their antiplatelet effect. Next is acetaminophen brand name Tylenol. Tylenol has an analgesic effect and an antipyretic effect, but it does not have an anti-inflammatory effect or an antiplatelet effect. Let's look at NSAIDs first. NSAIDs stand for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. We are saved by the suffix because most of these medications end in profen or olac. Some of the common names of NSAIDs are ibuprofen, trade name Advil, celecoxib, trade name Celebrex, Ketorlac, trade name Toradol, and naproxen, brand name Aleve. So these medications help to relieve pain, but how do they do it? Well, NSAIDs inhibit or stop prostaglandin synthesis. Prostaglandins are hormone-like substances made in response to pain and inflammation. They do this by blocking cyclooxygenase enzyme. This enzyme increases inflammation. Cyclooxygenase 1 is the enzyme that maintains stomach lining, and cyclooxygenase enzyme 2 is responsible for inflammation and pain. So by blocking cyclooxygenase enzyme activity and prostaglandin production, we see that NSAIDs work to stop or prevent pain and inflammation. Let's take another glance at what NSAIDs can do with their actions. So these drugs are antipyretics or fever reducers, analgesics or pain reducers, and anti-inflammatory, which prevents and reduces inflammation. NSAIDs are not antiplatelets. NSAIDs are known to cause bleeding as a side effect, but they are not used as antiplatelets. Let's look at some of the must-know side effects for NSAIDs. NSAIDs cause GI upset, such as nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal discomfort, and acid reflux. Remember, NSAIDs block cyclooxygenase enzyme 1, which is the enzyme that maintains stomach lining. So in turn, the GI system is not protected and may become upset. NSAIDs also cause impaired renal function or nephrotoxicity. Blocking prostaglandins causes vasoconstriction, which impairs renal blood flow. You can remember this by the memory trick, NSAIDs think nephrotoxic. NSAID use can also result in fluid retention. This causes an increase in the workload of the heart and could result in hypertension. Worsening of heart failure may also be seen with the use of NSAIDs due to that fluid retention, causing the inability to rid the body of excess fluid. These patients are also at risk for a stroke due to the increased workload of the heart. Clot formation can also occur with non-aspirin-containing NSAIDs due to the reduction of cyclooxygenase 1 and cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme production. This puts the patient at increased risk for strokes and even myocardial infarctions. Now let's look at contraindications. You do not want to give this medication to those with asthma. These medications increase the risk for bronchospasms. You can remember this by the memory trick, ban these medications from asthma patients. Beta blockers, aspirin, and NSAIDs should be avoided in those patients with asthma. Next are some nursing considerations. 
As nurses, we want to monitor renal or kidney function because remember, NSAIDs cause nephrotoxicity. An increased BUN and creatinine levels indicate impaired renal function. We also want to monitor urinary output. This is an indicator of how well the body is filtering and flushing excess fluid. Any value below 30 milliliters per hour must be reported right away. Let's talk about some patient education. We want to educate our patients to take NSAIDs with food to decrease stomach upset. If stomach upset occurs, patients can take a proton pump inhibitor or PPI such as omeprazole to decrease acid reflux. Patients should also report any signs of a GI bleed. Signs and symptoms of this are black tarry stools, coffee ground emesis or vomit, and unresolved abdominal cramping. Let's look at some of the most commonly tested on information for NSAIDs. They inhibit cyclooxygenase 1 and 2 enzymes. They can cause nephrotoxicity or kidney damage. A common side effect is GI upset, which is why we want to educate them to take it with food to reduce GI symptoms. We do not give NSAIDs to patients with asthma. And we want to report symptoms of a GI bleed immediately.